Guys, in today's video, I'm bringing you another Mundo gameplay. Um, I was playing some Trio Q with my friends and just having a blast. Um, and I'm also going to be doing a voiceover, kind of giving you my thoughts and perspective of Mundo because I think he's actually really, really strong. So this is a build I've been messing around with, uh, you know, Sunfire, Spirit, Mercury Stoneplate, Warmogs, Amaranth, Twin Guard, and Thornmail. You're going to buy the items depending on the situation, of course. The, the uh, defense items are always situational, and there's a lot of other great options as well. Like, especially if you're against a vein and you need something for that attack speed, that could really come in handy. For the runes, I've been rocking Grasp, Weakness, Second Wind, and I actually run Nimbus Cloak because I respect the enemy laner and the enemy team. I'm not going Demolish or things like that. Uh, the Nimbus Cloak really allows you to run down people with your Ignite when you use one of your spells or for running away in, when you're in a tight situation. So for the spells, obviously, you're going to want to rock Ignite and Flash. And with that, I'll catch you guys in the gameplay. So with that, let's get right on into the rest of the video. All right, guys, I'm now in the rest of the gameplay. And um, yeah, we're going to we're going to be just giving it a good walk. So, yeah, I'm playing some Mundo um, against Fiora. You know, pretty simple matchup, I would say. Uh, you're going to see how I kind of play. I took a early level 1 trade. The reason why I like trading level 1 like that in the bushes is because of how easy it is to actually land the uh, first abilities. Um, as you see, boom, nice little easy trades. And yeah, guys, I really love Mundo. Um, like, he's actually my favorite, one of my favorite champions right now. Like, I'm not even joking. I, I really fell in love with this champion. He's a bunch of fun. Um, and I really think it's because just like his laying phase is really fun. His team fighting is really fun. Um, yeah, I, I just I just think like once you get ahead on this champion, it's like just GG almost um, right there. The Fiora kind of dodged that right there, but it's all good. Um, and yeah, so you see I'm just max range queuing the, the wave and it's just all good. You know, I'm just vibing um, because that's just kind of. Um, how you feel with this champion um, the lane phase is probably the most is kind it is is the most boring part but it's also like the most important part right because if you get out of the lane you're gonna really be able to put in work with this champion and so yeah I mean as you can see I'm just still keeping my distance throwing those axes out just really being smart with the way um, I maneuver this game boom I mean look at that like, guys, this takes literally no skill. That's the best part, too, is, like, other Baron laners. Like, imagine if I was playing the Fiora. Like, I'd probably be pretty bad at it. But Mundo is, you can you can learn this champion pretty, pretty quick. Um, and so, right here, I take a trade because, you know, my jungler's on this side. And, you know, I, I want to keep chunking that, that Fiora. Um... And so, right here, I can't really rotate to my teammates, um... So I ping it. I'm like, yo, you guys are probably screwed. But I actually do something really dumb here. Look at how much time I waste. Look how much time I waste. I wasted a lot of time right there. I should have just stayed at the wave. I probably lost the minion. And uh, that wasn't good for me. So, yeah. So anyways, I just stay here. You know, keep looking for the angles. Oof, that was a good one. I really want to try to fight this Fiora. But I know that the the jungler is on this side. So. I'm just kind of being as careful as I can. Just trying to be safe, you know. In the right spot. And, uh, yeah. So, I just keep the wave here. Um, make sure I maneuver um, extremely um, smart so I don't get caught and killed. Because... Once you, you know, if you lose the lane and, and, and you, you make, and the enemy team is strong, like, you're going to just completely get snowballed. So, you really want to stay as even as possible. Um, and, and that's really the key. And so, right here, I take a little bit of a fight. I still have my ultimate, so I'm still feeling kind of safe. Um, and so, yeah, I'm still just throwing the axes. Um, keeping my distance, you know, not taking that full on one on one. Uh, I see that Warwick and Kane are in mid, so I feel kind of safe where I'm at. I'm like, okay, if Fiora tries to do something, I can easily just get it right here. Boom. I mean, the, uh, the even the Fiora is scared. I mean, I just keep this freeze going because this is such a beautiful spot. Throw another axe out. Just 
really just doing my thing. I mean, most of his farming. I think I might commit to this one. Yeah, I throw the ignite out to use my ultimate. And it's just GG. Um, that simple. And so, I mean, it's, it's not very often where you see a Mundo win lane against a Fiora, but it, it's really doable. You have a. I feel like the nice thing with Mundo is you've got a lot of options. If you have a winning lane, then you could just fight it out. If you have a losing lane, you could just throw axes and really play mind games with the enemy. And if you lose a couple of minions, it's okay as long as you get the XP. Um, and so, right here, I pick up the uh, Storm Crown, and then um, I think I start building into Bramble. Um, so I could get the thorn mail because I, I, I just feel like um, that's what I wanted to get. Uh, and so, yeah, now I'm getting back to the lane. Um, you know, I mean, Samir is also building Bloodthirst. So, and there's a... I mean, the enemy team has a lot of uh, healing. Fewer ultimate and fewer Qs. Um, the uh, Samir Bloodthirster. Uh, the freaking... Um, I always keep forgetting that one champion's name. Warwick. Warwick heals a lot, so I feel like getting Thorn Mail, which is a good option. Your flash, and I wanted to flash right here. Boom, and I just get the kill with my Sunfire. Beautiful, beautiful. You want to play aggressive where you can, man. You really do. Um, and since Fior is dead, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna shove another wave right here. Boop, boop. I mean, look at it. Look at this. So clean. Such a clean clear. Now I just channel my reset. Nice and easy. Pick up the Bramble. You know, I'm just building my components. And I'm, now I'm like, okay, I'm going to rotate to this. Um, this Dragon Fight. Because maybe it's important. If I see that my team's just completely, like, going ham, right? And that, that's exactly what you want to see. Like, exactly what you want to see. Um... And so now I just I come in, shove in mid, so that we could maybe pressure mid turret with the Rift Herald um, and get it. Because once you open up mid, you're able to kind of get the deeper vision in the jungle. You're act and, and, and uh, it also gives you uh, better better room to fight because like to have team fights. Because when you're team fighting and you have to you have you can't team fight the enemy because they have their mid turret. Um, it, it, it could be really annoying and so right here. I mean you can just see the type of damage I'm already doing to this uh, Fiora and It is really it's, it's quite a good amount of damage, um, which is always um, Great to see so uh, Right here, you know, we're, we're still trying to keep that pressure going as much as possible really make it hard for this Fiora to breathe um, And it's all in the mind games. It's all in the mind games. War, Warwick comes in. I have to use my ultimate and ignite um, so I could kind of maneuver out of there. That's where the Nimbus cloak really comes in handy is when you're in those cop positions. You can uh, be able to maneuver extremely quickly. And so, yeah, now I'm just, you know, keeping the wave in the middle because I don't know if Warwick's still uh, nearby. Um, but then I'm like, okay, I have enough gold for my thorn mail. Um, so I'm just going to take this reset. Our Ziggs needs to be careful because the Warwick could be in mid. I canceled my reset, which uh, is interesting here. Boom. I mean, look at how much damage those axes do. Like, it's actually so fun. Oh. Boom, another one. Oh my god, I'm so on point with these axes. I was worried about my Olaf. I'm like, oh my god. Don't die on me, Olaf. But my Olaf is just going crazy. So I pulled the wave here. I basically proxied the wave. So that um, I could try to get some value here onto this turret. And, and I mean, if I could get the whole turret, that'd be great. Um, and so as you can see, I just stay on it. Lock and loaded. Boom. We get the turret, and now I can buy my Thorn Mail. So I'm pretty fed now. And this is where you're gonna really see me kind of tanking in these in these fights, right? Because I'm 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 really ahead of this Fiora. And plus, like, is it, guys, when you play Fiora, you really have to win your lane, right? You don't want to lose your lane, right? Because you want to be able to like you know opt into a hole breaker and just like really pinch the end, like get like force the enemy to team to feel pressure to match the fjord but like i don't even need it i don't even need to blink about this fjord i don't need to care about him at all look at this i just run towards this freaking uh 
Samira and she can't do anything. Look at that. I mean, I want them to fight me, you know? Boom. Alistar goes in. And I'm like, all right, bet. Bet. Go in. Alistar is fly. Dude, playing Mundo against Alistar is like the best. The best. And I want to honestly play support Mundo more, too. Um, not because I think it's like super good, but because it's not that bad if you're against the melee support. So don't go Mundo. Don't go Mundo against Nami, for example, but Mundo against Ali Star and Thresh is pretty good. Um, this this cane is just trying to run, so I ignite him to get that Nimbus cloak speed, and you know we just run it down. Boom. Then I look at this Samir Ali Star. I'm like, all right, let's let's go, let's run it. And look at this. I mean, I'm not even using my ultimate yet. But once Samira starts ulting, I'm like, alright, I gotta... Dude, imagine... Like, dude, how pissed is that Samira? Like, I know that Samira is mad. Like, he literally cannot... Like, I can't... He can't get uh, me off of him. And boom. We throw axes onto this Warwick. And boom. I mean, Warwick can't do anything out of Thorn Nail. So, um... It's just pretty free from there. So, uh, now, you know, it's just a free objective. And I think I am just going to, to take a reset. So... I could have good tempo for this dragon and kind of set up shop early. The cane like was coming in at light speed. But yeah, I mean, I'm just wasting time here. Like I need a reset. And this is guys why I always like when I'm doing these vo voiceovers, it's always nice because I could see sometimes when I'm making these like uh, dumb mistakes kind of in the game. Like I just wasted so much time canceling my reset, throwing the axe swords cane, you know, even in the laning phase. Um, I could have played it a little bit cleaner. But that's why it's good, guys, to make sure to watch over your own gameplay, right? Um, obviously, you don't need to, like, do a voice recording over your gameplay. But just give it a watch and, and kind of see what you could have done better. And right here, I'm just trying to be annoying. Um, boom. Spotted. And I could just kind of run around and do whatever. Look at this. Boom, I channel my ult, I go with the ignite. I mean, look at this, dude. I'm so unkillable. It's actually crazy. Boom, I flash forward with the axe. Kill. I'm looking for the Samira. Boom. Boom. Oh my god, it's actually so free. I'm just even just kind of emoting in front of their faces. I mean, we got to get these waves in so we can we can actually end. Boom. Nice. Nice. You know, we were able to get mid in it. Um, and this, oh, oh, good flash from Ziggs. Right here, I was thinking about, okay, I'm going to get the um, the Spirit Visage here. Um, you know, and right here, I'm just kind of clicking on some items, just seeing what's good. Um, but yeah, so now I'm coming back into the lane. I'm like, all right, I want some more kills, so um, let's get it done. Boom, I start running down the Warwick. I'm like, yo, buddy, you're gone. Now I'm big with the Twin Guard. I'm like, come on, guys, fight me, please. Just fight me. I mean, look how much of a me like, this is all you can do. You just run towards people, guys. Like, how is this not fun? Like, I feel like this is so much fun, just running towards people. Look at this. I'm just like, I don't give a, I don't have a single care in the world. I ignite him. And I just know he's dead. Boop. Easy. Who wants more? I still have my ultimate. Come on, come on. All right, bet. Let's fight this. Look at me on such low HP. I put on my ult. I put on my freaking gargoyle. Look at this, guys. I don't even die. I don't even die. That's how broken this champion is. Oh my god. And there it is. Um, it's just over from here. But anyways, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Um, I think Mundo is really, really great. And you should definitely uh, learn him. And also, I showed the, the damage and the... The, the, da um, the damage that I tanked as well. Pretty insane. So, yeah, make sure to subscribe and like if you're new here, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.